Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Owens and today I will react to the top 10 songs named after women. Um, I was not very interested in this topic in general and these upcoming two. Uh, I can't quite remember which two they, they are, but um, I can remember one of them, which is going to be boring as shit. Um, and the other one I can't quite remember, but this is still kind of diverse, I guess. You know, the, the next one or the, the one after that. It's gonna be one note, so that's gonna be boring as shit. Uh, but I'm doing these last three right now because you know I'm doing the session right now, the recording session, and uh, they are the last three requests that I have right now. So I'm you know just getting them over with, I guess. Yeah, I'm not really interested in like naming songs after women. Like it's kind of shallow, I think. It's kind of you know dumb. But it is, I guess, a legitimate form of songwriting. I just think it's kind of lazy in my opinion, but there you go. Um, of course, Eric Clapton is the terminal, Derek, Derek and the Dome, and of course, he writes a fucking song about it. And about cocaine, so, you know, Eric Clapton is a very great songwriter. Don't hate the guy, but I'm just not a fan. I'm just not a fan of the songwriting. Uh, he's gonna make the list. Um, yeah, I was like Leila, but that is Derek and the Domino, she fucking dipshit. Um, what else? I don't like. I don't think about song titles named after women. Like, that's such a specific fucking request. Um, do I like songs that have like women names or something? Like yeah, you know it's gonna be like all the others. Like I don't know, and then the first one kicks in, and I'm like everything comes back, and I'm like oh yeah, there are actually quite a lot of songs like that. Yeah, I mean, there are, there are more songs, of course. Otherwise, I wouldn't make a list about it, but... Uh, Jolene, that's... Yeah, Jolene from Dolly Parton, that is one. I usually think about, like, horny guys writing about women or something, like... Here, fucking Clapton over here. Uh, but... Dolly Parton wrote a song about a woman, a woman so there you go. So, um, that's one, but... Maybe that means solely written by men, you know, as in a love story or whatever. But maybe, maybe Dolly Parton was writing on a love song because she is less. I, I don't fucking know, don't. Don't comment me, I'm just assuming here. Uh, let's just fucking start. I mean, I'm three minutes balls deep in this bitch, so there you go. Uh, 30 minutes long though, that's quite a lengthy video. I'm laggy as fuck right now. Oh, Stacy's mom, fuck yes. These tunes are dedicated to the fairer sex. The fairer sex? Welcome to watchmodo.com. What? And today we're counting down What the fuck was that intro? Fairer. So what's more you just said women are better than men. Okay. I kind of agree with that though. I think women are better than men, so there you go. Not as in work, but just as persons. They're just more interesting and more in-depth than men. Most of them. Most women are really dumb. Other guys can be very smart, of course, so... It's very interchangeable, but you know, most common normie people, most women are smarter than men. You know, usually when they date, the woman thinks way more ahead than the man does. The man just sits there and is in the moment, and the woman, the woman is just like t thinking three steps ahead of the guy, which is not always the best thing to do. But you know, they are just more tough in general. So there you go. Stewart. No one cares about this, I know, but you know, that's just my opinion. That's just kind of how it is, really. This fucking voice. He just smoked two packs of cigarettes before performing. Fucking hell. I never got uh, Rod Stewart. I do people like this guy. I don't get it. Like, what, why did, like, one and a half million people uh, come to see him sing and shit? Well, like, what the fuck? Like, he doesn't even fucking play an instrument or something. He's just singing there. 
Is that, what, is, is that a Stones member? Oh, but he was playing with the Stones now. You fucking girl. Why did you say it like that on one of them? I don't even know. Sweet Caroline, Neil Diamond. Oh yeah, yeah. This was on the. This was on a list that I did. I don't fucking know. But it's the sweet sentiment and memorable melody that have made this Neil Diamond track so popular. I can't. Oh, this song, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of how it sounds. It's kind of so cliche and boring. Kind of like how Neil Diamond is in general, so there you go. Yeah. A lot of people like shallow, boring music. Who would have guessed? The song was inspired by JFK's daughter, Caroline Kennedy. No, alright. Oh, uh, come on, Eileen. That's a good song. Come on, Eileen. Dexy's Midnight Runners. Yeah, I have to say, it was kind of like it was. I believe I first discovered it while it was on like Watch Mojo's top ten cheesiest one and wonder songs. Did it? Did it make that list? I, I believe it was only like a slideshow. I believe like the opening that was kind of it. Honestly, it was not actually on the list. I think. Can't remember, but it is a good song. I've grown to like it. One of my fans really loves it. I'm not in love with it per se, but it's definitely the best song so far. Like, that was number eight, right? Like, I, I completely forgot number ten already, and number nine was Neil Diamond. So who gives a shit? I think this is number eight. And in the US, with that album's second single. I don't like the overalls that they're wearing. It looks really bad. But that's their image, I guess, so Fiddle. just roll with it. Great right away, so. Come on, Eileen, had us humming this tune forever. Um, I mean, those vocals are kind of like Joe Strummer bad in a way. The Clash. I don't hate the Clash, but they're not really that good, to be honest. It's just like a redneck musical anthem. <laughs> That's fucking perfect. <laughs> Number eight. Jolene, Dolly Parton. Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. Yeah, I do not like this song, but it does stick in my head though. It did stick in my ass, so there you go. So it's not surprising Jolene, that many songs Jolene, Jolene. Are real life That was kind of a fuck up vocal, but there you go. Oh, she definitely has some fucking plastic surgery. Not right there, but just looking at her, she probably has plastic surgery. You know, later down the road. Not that it matters, but. You know, I'm talking about the shit because what else can I say about a boring country artist? Artist with big titties. Like, yeah, I already talked about her tits. Like, so, on multiple occasions, so what else is there to say? Jealousy? Yeah, that's kind of it, honestly. Like, first look, at the f first look at the tits, then at the face. Oh, yeah, you probably have a facelift uh, in a couple of years. And yeah, that's kind of it, honestly. Number six. You know, not, not because, um, oh, her face is fucked or something, because I think her face back then looked fine. Like, just kind of boring in a way. Like some gay ass fucking pink glitter on, like what the fuck was that? Like, it's not really fashionable, it's not really my thing per se, but you can definitely see by her correct character, or she's in country, so she's definitely gonna do a facelift, because people in country never do the right thing, they never fucking do, like, let alone write a good song, like fucking hell, man. Celia, Simon and Garfunkel. Oh, this song, yeah. Da, 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 da. I mean, um, Summer and Garfunkel is getting love again. Uh, you know, people love, of course, Sound of Silence, which is like the most overplayed song ever. It's not that good, to be honest, but you know, it is a haunting tune. Before it got memed and overplayed and played to death and shit like that. It was a good, it, it used to be a good song at one point, so there you go. Um, I, I like them. Simon Garfunkel is a great songwriter. 
Did I say Simon Gar? What the fuck? Paul Simon is a good songwriter. He's 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 a great songwriter. Can't deny that. Um, Garfunkel. Can't really say I care about him. He is a good singer though, but that's kind of it all. It's kind of it's kind of like I don't want to compare them to to the other, but it's kind of true, you know. Uh, fucking uh, the the Oasis brothers in a way because. Noel is a songwriter, he sings better, and he writes better, and you know, Liam is there like do singing, but the other brother's doing all the work. So, you know, it's it's kinda like old school ways in a way. <laughs> That's kind of it all the thing. Play the video please. Alexa, play play this shitty video. Fucking hell. This there you go. Simon and Garfunkel's chart topping bridge over trouble. Can't say I care about it too much. Um, it's definitely the the best song so far. It's definitely thumbnail worthy. If nothing better comes on. Simon, yeah, I'm gonna say this. Simon and Garfunkel gets the thumbnail for me. If nothing better comes on, it's definitely like an. Mm, it's definitely like a mid eighty. Mid 80, mid 8 to like a strong 8 for me, something like that. Yeah. Mid to strong 8, I think. Good song. If you want to know that. Number 5, Roxanne, the police. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Simon and Garfunkel is Tundal, um, Tundal Wardy. Fuck you, police. <laughs> the police has arrived. I mean, you, you guys know it, I love this band. Oh, you don't? Now, well, now you know. Fucking hell. Fuck this tweet for money. Roxanne. Romance Spain came up with the idea while the band was on tour Roxanne. with France and found their hotel surrounded by prostitutes. Damn. Damn. It's since become Damn. a top 20 UK hit and one of their most well known songs. Uh, the st what the f <laughs> I'm not a fan of this song. Like I was already predicting his vocal because like I just don't like Angie man. Like yeah, it's it's a good name. It's a good it's arguably a good song, yeah for most people it is, but I just don't like this song. It's so sappy and fucking slow. Like Roxanne is like it's an interesting name. It's more interesting I would say. It's it's actually quite a beautiful uh, girl's name I would say. Yeah, I would say. Uh, Angie is as well, it's pretty, but Roxanne is definitely better, better song, better composed, bigger hit for the police, not that it matters, but that's the fucking truth. Um, interesting lyrical content, I can't say that about the Stones that much, because it just fucking goes on forever, and Roxanne is like, dun, 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 you know, it just, it's just a fucking driving song, it's just like, it drives you. It's about a prostitute, like she's behind the red curtain, and now it doesn't need to be because I love you, girl. It's just so like direct, and it just hits me. And this song is just like it just slows slows everything down for me. It just it just doesn't do it for me, man. And my video my video is fucked, man. Fuck's sake. Like going from like that super energetic police song to this slow fucking trap. It's such an anti climax. Especially after, you know, a hooker. A hooker came on. So there you go. A hooker came on. I cannot fucking speak. But Mick Jarrett cannot fucking sing in this song, man. Fucking hell. He can sing, but not very well in this song, I would say. I do like the piano though, the piano's pretty good. Or whatever that is. Sounds like a piano.
Why is she looking so fucking creepy at me, man? Fucking hell, I have the fucking camera. Why is she wearing that hat? Is she wearing makeup? What the fuck is she doing, man? Yeah. Like, it's. It just sounds like he's fucking crying, man. Like, yeah, I get it. He's emotionally attached to the song. I get it, but. It's just so fucking pathetic to me, man. Like. Just get go to fucking go to the Beatles. Like, why do people compare the Stones and the Beatles together? The Beatles are infinitely fucking better than the Stones. Like, why do why do people think oh Stones versus Beatles? It doesn't make any fucking sense to me. Like, what bands can you compare to the Beatles? I guess Pink Floyd or something or Led Zeppelin. That would be my match right there. Led Zeppelin versus the Beatles because those are. Amazing bands, and they are both just fucking flawless, arguably. You know, Zeppelin later down the road, not so much. But whenever they were at that prime, the the first six fucking albums, like they were up there with the Beatles. So that's more of an appropriate lineup for me. Like I don't get the Stones versus Beatles lineup. Yeah, me, you know, consistent quality, but I, like as in songwriting, as in an an interesting band, no. For me, at least. Yeah, maybe song quality, but but you know, no, just no, not on Beatles level. Number three, Eleanor Rigby, the Beatles. Yeah, I might put the Beatles on too. No, I have to put them on, on there in the walls. There you go. Can't fuck with this. I'm doing that because that's my name. There you go. Not the girl's name, Michelle, but but the boy's version. That's my name, so there you go. If you wanted to know that, then there you go. What do they all come from? Only one. opening vocal is just fucking like I don't hate it but it's just so fucking annoying um, there's like one part in there that I really love like if that was the song just that little instrumental in a loop I would have loved the song but that's of course not the fucking message of the song that was just a nice like interlude section I love whenever the song like goes smooth jazz in a way or like really like Funkadelic in a way, or just lo like it just goes soft rock, like with a with a pinch of like pop in the back, and with like a soft rock guitar with a nice drum loop in the back. Like I'm not sure when the when that kicks in. Like I think halfway through the song, I love that part. Fuck the radio edit for editing that out. That's like the best part, and they edit that out. Like fuck sake, I think they do that. So there you go. They only want the, the fast energetic bars, which are like my least favorites. Of course he's smoking on stage. Yeah, we get it here, Clapton, you like drugs, we get it. Fucking listen to those vocals, man. Oh, fuck, man. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Yeah, I get it, they need to deliver it in an energetic, emotional way, but I just cannot take it serious, man. It's, 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 fuck all, man. Like, always when I hear the lyric, I'm like, seeing like ear claps and like, going to the floor on his knees, like going, no! Like, this is always the mental image that I get with Eric Clef. Like, fucking hell, man. Don't be a fucking drama queen. Quite a love for 
Harrison's then wife, Patty Boyd. Oh fuck off, Eric Clapton. Of course you're gonna mess with Beatles' wives and shit, but fucking hell, man. The love song proved it stained. Of course he's already causing trouble. Fuck's sake. Yeah, this slow ass fucking song again. Well, it's the same song, it's just acoustic. Fuck this version. Like, at least, at least the original has that moment that I really love. Like, they just completely removed that in this version. Like, fuck Eric Clapton for that. Fuck him for doing, removing my, the only part I actually like about Derek and the Donors. Okay, and I like the intro. I like the intro and the middle section. Like that about um, fucking Layla. Uh, fucking hate the bitch otherwise. <laughs> um, what else? He broke up Cream, my favorite Eric Clapton related project. That's the best thing that he did and he broke it up of course. And of course, well it's not with Derek and the Dominos anymore, that was a one-off. Um, he's still going on the solo career thing, which is the most boring shit ever. I don't care for that. Uh, what else does he do? Uh, what else did he do? Um, yeah, just cocaine, you know, like fuck all songwriting, fuck all. Just fuck all songwriting. Got you on my knees, lady. Who fucking cares? My Sharona by the neck. I, I reacted to this in a fucking song stream. Black Betty by Ram Jam. Oh, I hate this song. I hate the tug. Like black, like that title was designed purely to fucking annoy me. Fuck that name and fuck the song. Fuck that band. Proud Mary from Queen's Clearwater Revival was kind of going like country and shit. Although CCR isn't country, they're swamp rock, there you go. Rode, 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 down a river. Oh, good song, fine. Uh, the Lila Tom Jones, back to boring shit again. Oh, that's not that bad. Valerie was Steve Winwood. Uh, this is the original call of me, like Eric Price ripped this guy off, damn, like two decades beforehand, fucking hell. Um, I have to say that I do prefer the Eric Price version because it's way more upbeat and just more joyful to listen to, so there you go. But that's still a shameless rip off though, fuck that guy. But that was a good song though. His vocals just annoy me. Uh, Billy Jean? Is that the girl's name? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, she was more like a beauty queen from a movie scene. It's a good lyric actually. Um, I did never know that that was a fucking women's name. Like yeah, I know a guy that is dating a girl called Billy right now. But Billy can like that's a boy, boys and a girl name, so that can go either way. I was like Jean. That sounds pretty manly to me. Pretty manly. Oh, cringe. Uh, never mind, kill me. Uh, but Billy, Billy is kind of, it can go either way though, but what Mojo is saying, of course, Billie Jean is huge and apparently it is about a girl. Well, yeah, the first lyric kind of made it obvious though, but I never thought about it. So, I guess in a way, yeah, it is. So, there you go, good number one spot. Nothing really to say there. Yeah, you could have chosen it, but it's fucking Billie Jean. Come on. Billie Jean. My computer is so fucking slow right now. Yep, it's it's arguably one of the finest pop songs you can ever listen to, so it's up there for sure. But it's the track story of a groupie claiming Jackson fathered her son that lands it here. Oh, really? 
Ooh. <laughs> Pretty aerobic. Oh yeah, Lola. What the fuck? Why is the Why is the Kings not all there? Fucking hell! I, I like the Kings. Fuck's sake. Mm. Fuck all vocal delivery, man. Whenever I was listening to the song with headphones, and I was like, oh, the instrumentation sounds right. Like from what I remember, I fucking hated the song. But I, I think whenever you listen to the song with earphones, I think that um, it sounds pleasant, as in the, in the production. But I hate the vocals. Whenever I saw that guy like looking at the tunnel at me, like I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna have a good time with the song, aren't I? Fuck no. So I instantly hated the song, but uh, I, I believe I gave it like a solid like C tier. I believe C D tier. I don't know why. So the fucking vocals are so terrible. So there you go. Um, OMG, what about Rhiannon from? Oh my god! Oh, I love that song. If I could heart your comment, Vern Valijo, I I would heart the shit out of that. Like, I, I was kind of like, wow, how did they fucking forget that song? I fucking love that song. Uh, huh, no Peggy Sue from Buddy Holly. Can't say I care, but oh my god, that fucking Fleetwood Mac tune. Fuck yes. Is anyone else saying, yeah, it should be number one, uh, Stevie Nicks is the best female singer ever? N no, but she is good, sure. Don't, don't oversell it, my boy. What the hell, where's Valerie by Amy? Oh my god, that's a fantastic song. Where's Valerie? Where's Rhiannon? Oh my god. Two of my favorite songs about chicks. Fuck's sake. Where are those songs? I love those songs. Amy Winehouse, fucking Fleetwood Mac. Rosanna should have been on that list though. What the fuck is a Rosanna? Yeah, it sounds familiar though, but the fuck is Rosanna? Whenever I hear it, I know it, of course, but... Where's Beth by Kiss? I feel like it should've at least gotten... How the fuck did he phrase this? I feel like it should've at least gotten at least an honorable mention. He just said at least twice in a fucking row, damn. Gonna dislike you for that, and I'm not a huge Kiss fan, so that doesn't really help. It has to be Helena by My Chemical Romance, because it speaks about loss, especially if someone is close to you, and it's about uh, Jared Way's grandmother. Um, yeah, I haven't heard it, you know, I think, but if people re request it to me, if it's, it, if it is on the Black Parade, I've heard it, because that's the only album I've heard from My Chemical Romance, and I thought it was good, but not amazing. So, um, Helena, sounds good though, it sounds, it sounds like a good, like, tame, kind of emotional emo pop song, so I might like it. Iris the Goo, I oh, fucking love Iris, Goo Goo Dolls. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the Goo Goo Dolls, but I love Iris, great song. Hey there, Delilah by the Plain White Tees. I'm not a huge fan of the band, but same thing, I love the song. Or not, well, love, I like the song. Helena by My Chemical Romance. Helena by Misfits, a lot of people love Helena. The Ballad of Mona Lisa by uh, Panic at the Fucking Disco. How Zinka by Green Dot. Well, I guess I found a, an ARTV fan. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> Can you be any more gay than that? Puff, where's Fur Elise? Um, I think I know that song now. Like, like there's a Dutch artist that covered that song. It's actually pretty good. Uh, is it, isn't that the song that goes like... On the video, do, 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 do. You know, that's kind of French song in a way. I can't fucking quote the lyrics because it's French. So there you go. Helena, the battle, of, the battle of, yeah, the, the same fucking, yeah. He's like, etc. You know, I, I love to suck dick. Uh, I'm a gear TV fan. You know, same thing. Like there, like there is someone that is gonna say, oh, I knew all these bands because of um, how was that other girl called again? That's the other girl. Uh, that uh, girlfriend of his, Infinity on Hannah. She has like the worst music ever. A uh, whole lot of Rosie by ACDC, hell yes. 
Brian Griffin. Whoa, a song named after a girl. There aren't a million of those already. Stewie, name 20. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I hate Family Guy, but that's... Yeah, um... I'm not sure if that is like an actual scene out of Family Guy, but I mean, Family Guy is like one of the most desperate shows I've ever watched in my life, so they probably said that already five times, there you go. Um, there you go, uh, this list is weird, this is a really specific request, but thanks I guess. Family Guy is terrible, Air TV still sucks dick, so you know, everything still stands, so there you go. Everything perfectly balanced, like all things must be, you know, that fucking mean. Um, there you go, but it's still true. Those things are still fucking bad, so there you go. Um, thank you for watching this video. Um, like and subscribe to the channel for videos like this one. Oh, well, no, I'm not gonna say that. Fuck Seth MacFarlane, but, you know, ARTV, he can do his own thing. I just, you know, I just, I'm just naming him right now, I'm just mentioning him because, like, his gay ass bands appear on this list, so I'm like, or people mention it, so I'm like, they're probably a fan of this, so that's why, otherwise I wouldn't name him, but uh, you know, I can't say I respect him though, because his music is fucking awful. Um, yeah, I just, I kind of have to leave it on an empty, on, on just this note, because what can you say about him? I don't want to flip him off as, as, as you know, Cannot get out of my own fucking way. I don't want to flip him off, um, you know, specifically because why would I? It's kind of, you know, mean for pointless reasons. So, uh, yeah, I guess I will just end it with this. Uh, you know, John, ARTD, hey, you're not very good. Please leave Rock Coliseum. I don't like you on there. Hey, fucking, oh, uh, God, you know, Rock's Rock Critic, um, who else is on our Spectrum Pills? If you're watching this video for some reason. Have Viral Rack on there. He is so much fucking better than ARTV. Like, no hate to ARTV. I'm not a fan of the guy, but have Viral Rack on there. He has way more relevant taste and it's way more in those other guys' ballpark of music taste. He's just way fucking better. Just subscribe to Viral Rack.